So a couple of days ago, NA10 announced something really cool, and that is community nodes in NA10 cloud. So previously, you know, you needed to use HTTP request in, you know, NA10 cloud in order to actually go and integrate with apps such as Eleven Labs, Stavely, and all these other apps. But now all of this is available in NA10 Cloud. So how cool is that? So as you can see currently, uh, what you need to do is you need to actually go in your uh, NA10 and in your workspace right here, what you wanna do is you wanna uh, update the version to the latest version. So you wanna go to your settings and here you wanna go to the latest stable version, okay? And then as you can see here, you will have verified community nodes. So you just wanna go and save changes here. Let's confirm that. Now, once you confirm that, you will need to wait for your workspace. If you go to dashboard, it's currently in progress to update. Once that is updated, I will show you exactly how you can set up these community nodes so that you don't have to work in HTTP request nodes anymore. Now, keep in mind, community nodes that are available currently are limited. So currently, we have some of the community nodes such as Tavily, Straker, PDF Forge, PDF Co., um, you know, Eleven Lab, stuff like that. So these this type of uh, you know community nodes we have access to. However, not many community nodes are yet integrated. Uh, here we have a couple of spotlights as well, such as Eleven Labs. SERP API and you know some of the others like Brave that, that is coming soon right here as you can see and some of the other nodes but yeah we actually uh, have now updated the workspace so we can open the workspace here and let me show you how this works in real time okay so if we go to create workflow here we can actually go here and if we add the first step we can trigger manually and then let's say we want to connect to an HTTP request usually what we needed to do is we needed to go to HTTP request, right? And if we are in Tavily, let's go to Tavily here. So once you're in Tavily, you would need to go to documentation, right? And then you would need to go to quick start. And then here you would have like curl that you can copy and that you can go in here and then you will have to, you know, auto populate all of this, like go here, import all of this, right? And then that would pretty much work, right? Now, if you go and if we execute this step, you know, right here, we have the authorization failed. Okay, we need to check our credentials, right? We need to go to our API key and then we need to go here, copy the API key and then, you know, paste that API key in here. I pasted it in a wrong way. And then I had to execute the step, right, to for this to work. But now you don't have to do that. You can go here and you can just type in Tavily. And as you can see, you have it right here. So you can just click on it and you can uh, use the search actions right here. Obviously, before we actually go and, and click on search actions, we need to install the node here. So first we need to install the node and each community node needs to be installed first. Uh, and as you can see, it's verified. We have 166 downloads right here, as you can see. Now, once this is installed, you can simply go to search here. And as you can see, all you have to do is select a credential. And here we just create a new credential. We add our Tavily API key here. We hit save and that will be it, right? It's saved. And now we can simply go here to the query and let's say we wanna use the same query who is Leo Messi, right? And we can execute that step right here. So if you click play right here, let me actually exit out of this. And if we just hit play, let me just test the workflow again. You would be able to see that right now we're getting all of the same things, but we don't actually have to use the HTTP request. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, for some of these, uh, you know, apps that have HTTP requests, but don't have the community node, you will still need to use the HTTP request. However, for apps like Tavily and other apps, you would be able to use them with this community node, okay? So now we also have other community nodes as well, such as, for example, if we go here, Eleven Labs is also here. So we can go here, we can install that node, and all of this will be installed on your cloud. And then if we want, we can get a voice here, and then we can select a credential, and in here we can add our own Eleven Labs API key. Okay, so that's also something that we can do. Now, keep in mind, if we go to the community nodes uh, description here or this blog post, 
um, you would be able to see some of the tools right here, whether you're enriching AI agents, verifying the quality of the language, right? So you have like PDF Co as well here. So for example, if you want to go here, you have PDF Co API, as you can see. So all of these verified, um, verified icons means that they are community nodes an official node maintained by the, uh, their team. So for example, if you wanna go with PDF Co API, we can install that node as well. If we go to PDF Co, I used PDF Co in some of the, uh, some of the uh, workflows before. Uh, so you can actually see that right here. Okay, let me just load it up. Okay, this is installed. And as you can see, we can here convert to PDF, convert from PDF, fill a PDF, add a text images to PDF, compressed PDF, we can do pretty much a lot of different things or upload file to PDF Co. So if you want to go here, we can actually select the credential here. Now, if you go here, if you log in, you will be able to go here and access the key, copy the key, and then you would be able to just paste it here, hit save. If everything is correct, connection will be tested successfully. And as you can see here, you can upload the file, standard upload. Here you can put the file content, for example, test. Right, we can execute this step. Obviously, we don't have the file name here, uh, but usually it won't go through because this is not a PDF or binary file. But as you can see, we get the URL right here. So this is the best and easiest way to uh, pretty much, you know, use this as an alternative to an HTTP request nodes because you don't actually have to use HTTP request nodes all the time. Right now, you can actually just go here and just go here and you know type in, for example, PDF Forge. I'm not sure if you can do it with, yeah, you cannot just type in community. You just need to go and know which community nodes you have available. And again, more community nodes will be available as time passes and as, you know, NA10 will add more community nodes uh, to their roast roster. So, yeah. Now, I just added uh, 100 community nodes in NA10. Uh, and this is a really good resource in our premium community. You can click here and you can visit it. And then here, as you can see, this is publicly available, by the way. It's not nothing special from our premium community. Uh, I just like to keep all the resources that I like, and I just like to post them in our premium community. And then here, as you can see, you have like a lot of other nodes as well here that you can install. Keep in mind, you can also self-host this as well. And you have a lot of other nodes such as, you know, this node, right here, this node, you know, you have like a lot of other nodes, 100 plus nodes for, you know, browser automation, for, you know, uh, anything, you know, pretty much data processing and stuff like that. So you can check out that link as well, which I'm about to leave in the description. Uh, but that's pretty much it, right? That's what you can do to kind of save some time when creating these nodes. You don't have to use HTTP request in pretty much every situation. So as you can see, we have Tavily, we have Eleven Labs, we have PDF Co. So, yo, these are really, really great stuff from NA10. So yeah, definitely something worth checking out. Uh, if you want new updates and, uh, you know, up-to-date information about NA10 before anyone else, you can go and join our premium community. We have a seven-day free trial. So pretty much it's, you know, non nothing risky from your side and from your end. And obviously it's more risky on our side to provide the best value we can. So definitely check it out and we'll see you in the next video.